Greetings and welcome to a new game. In particular, this is Last Word. Um, I found this game on, on Steam. Well, just a few minutes ago, to be honest, and uh, it looked it looked nice, and I want to give it a try. So, basically, it's kind of an RPG game uh, where you fight each other using words. So, yeah, seems kind of interesting, and. Um, yeah, so I will record all the episodes of this particular Let's Play playthrough, whatever it will be, in advance, um, and then decide on releasing it. Um, it all depends on if the game is any fun to me, so it might be that you never see it. Where, well, then this whole intro will be pointless, but oh well. And <laughs> if you will see it, um, I unfortunately can't take your advice um, when you uh, put that in the comments. But nonetheless, let's start and dive right in, in Last Word. Excuse me, gentlemen. This is the estate of Professor Chet Chattis, is it not? Indeed. We've just arrived as well. The servant should be back out soon, my lady. He'll see to letting you in. Don't wait up for us. Hey. hey, another person? Huh. I didn't expect to see this already. See what? This chit chat. War of the words. You know, what those two fellas are engaging in right now. Okay, so, um, I think the yellow and the purplish gentlemen are engaging in some kind of fight. And, uh, sorry, I have to, um, put the volume of the game down a bit more, because there is no options button. Sorry. There we go. Okay, War of the Words. Let's continue. There. After you. But surely. All I see is a bit of discourse. Wordplay is common enough at social gatherings, if not entirely expected. Yes, but have you never met Judge Boasting and Mr. McCall? I'm familiar with them, but we've never been formally introduced. Why? Oh, another one coming. They continuously attempt to get the last word on each other. It's a pain to listen to. Okay, yeah, as the name of the game suggests, you have to get the last word. It's as if so, or whomever speaks last gets a big prize, or some such thing. Hmm. That's exactly the point, young sir. Try not to play ignorant. Hmm? This is a rather large estate. Only the best for pro uh, Professor Chatters. Care to come inside? What of the other two? Hmm. If we wait for them, we'll be out here all evening, freezing our smiles off. Well, he seems a bit arrogant to me, but oh well. Come along. He shut the door on us, and after inviting us in, can you believe the nerve? Huh. Oddly enough, I can. Hmm. Hopefully, the inspection of Professor Chatters will have a bit more manners. Hey. You've never w met with him either? <clears throat> I can't say that I have, but I couldn't refuse his invitation. This should be a fairly high-profile ga gathering, if I'm not mistaken. It will be a great boost for my position in the Mesinbo Corporation. Hmm. And the yellow guy is going. It's due time we entertain a host, Mr. McCall. After you. Very graceful of you, Mr. Boasting. But I insist you lead the way. Oh, those guys are at it again, oh, right? What? I couldn't possibly, Mr. McCall. Mr. Boasting, you simply must allow me the pleasure of letting you go first. After you. Oh, well, God, yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> I do see you indeed. You are a bit ignorant, aren't you? Hmm. I'm Witty Gorship. That's a horrible name, I... Wow, okay. Uh. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Seymour Seymour. 
Or say more house. Of say more house, sorry. Uh, ah. A pleasure. What do you say we get inside before it gets much darker? Okay. Chapter 1. Hospitality. Or, he who scoffs last, scoffs best. So, this is Summer House. The estate of Professor Chatters. Of course. Why state the obvious? Hmm. Should it be obvious? I've never stepped foot in here before. Hmm? Good point. You certainly haven't. I don't let just anyone enter onto the property. You're a bit judgmental for a servant. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he is indeed. Possibly. Professor Chatters has strict guidelines for who can and cannot attend his little get-togethers. There are multitudes of dowdy figures vying to tumble through that front door. Sometimes his guests have class. Other times I must bite my tongue. Like now, for example. Wow, I hate this guy already. I don't suppose you've worked here long with an attitude like that? <clears throat> I'm a professional, Mr. Seymour. I've been here quite some time, and I never forget a frumpy face. Ow, arrogant to the last. I'll be sure to add you both to my mental catalogue of regular attendees. The others are up this way. Follow me. Are you ready? Uh. I suppose. This isn't exactly my fault. No? You don't mingle often. My mother handled most of these engagements. Key topic. Level 1, say more house. Learn key topics to unlock locked topics. Okay, I think the topics are uh, the things we can speak about. Hmm. Ah, sorry. A drop of coffee. Uh, always good. Especially in the morning. Okay, learn key topics to unlock lock topics. Let's continue then. She was the head of the same out more house. I was a bit sheltered myself. Maybe you'll pick up on some of her skills. I can only hope. I'll meet you by wherever the alcohol flow freeth. Oh, he looks quite young to be an alcoholic, but oh well. I think everybody here seems to be an aristocrat, so, um, yeah. Alcoholism for the win. Ah, okay, we play, um, the nice young lady. Oh, cool. I can go through doors. Um, I don't know, in any old RPG you can investigate pretty much everything and sometimes find nice stuff. <sighs> ah! It looked like there's a transparent bottle tucked far behind the glass. Ooh, lock topic. Level unknown. Well, cool. And there's a cat up on top of that, yeah. We already know that. Okay, so I can uh, go everywhere. Oh, this is a save point. Okay, let's save the game. Uh, yeah, sure, right here. Ah. Well, um, I think this is the bar. This bottle on the bar is different from most of the others. Another lock topic. Alright. So, it seems we have to carefully investigate our surroundings. Oh, we already know that. And unlock topics. Oh. Hmm, there are a lot of wines to choose from on this shelf. Another lock topic, all right. Oh, three lock topics in this room already. Ah, nice. Oh yeah. I'm um, sorry, I have to cough. One moment. Sorry for that. Um. Okay, there we go. Story time. <clears throat> oh, she looks rather arrogant as well. Okay. Tonight, tonight promises to be interesting. Quite a few new faces. Huh. Myself included. <gasps> Most certainly. You especially. Mm -hmm. And it's bothersome. I come to these parties for some real conversation. 
discussions, arguments, gossip. Honestly, miss. <sighs> gossip. Witty gossip. <laughs> I know who you are. I'm being condescending. But as I was saying, miss gossip, was it? I don't think you have what it takes to hold your own here. <sighs> You're serious? I am. Do you disagree? I most certainly do. Oh, man. <laughs> Pretty much arrogant people. Excellent. How is that excellent? Move the conversation cursor forward to get the last word. Uh... Okay. Higher levels have a greater starting advantage. Witty is 11 levels lower. Oh, my. Okay, so... Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, so we can say something dis disruptive, submissive, or aggressive. And the disruptive thingy is... Um, a little bit... Okay, no. Okay, subtle, common... What? Ah, the cursor isn't moving properly, to be honest. I think I'll switch to the keyboard from now on. Hmm... Okay, so this is what we can do to move the cursor. As you can see... Okay, I can't really... Oh! Hmm... Tactics, power, movement... Ah... Okay, I have no idea how this works, so... This will be interesting. Do we say something disruptive, then? Oh, let's try subtle. There we go. Well, okay. We have a power of 10 now, and... Oh. Okay, that was fast. The last word, a loser is you. Okay, she won. We got experience, uh, we have no stored experience, and the next level we get at 2 experience. Okay, um, Miss Fa Mrs. Father Prattle was our opponent. Okay, so... Well, it seems I've left you speechless. Be a good girl and bring me a glass of that 20 year blank. It's just delicious. Well, what a... Unkind lady. Come now, show some class. Don't leave a thirsty woman awaiting her evening nap. Oh, man. Seriously? <clears throat> hmm. You can't pour a glass of wine fairly well. Uh, no, you can pour a glass of wine fairly well, at least. I command you. <laughs> Classy slurp that, that is in no way obnoxious. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Simply divine. As you're no, no doubt aware, there's great power in the ability to get the last word in a conversation. In that brief moment of speechlessness, you were uh, susceptible to my persuasive persuasions. Wow, she has a way with words. It's a positively overwhelming feeling. It certainly is. You don't sound enthusiastic enough and it bores me to no end. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to strike up a conversation somewhere else. Find the lock icon to progress the story. Okay. Alright, um, we got a fair beating, I suppose. Oh, okay. The numpad zero is where I can get in my inventory. So, we have a topic to talk about, which is level one, say more house. We have no skills, no wine, uh, no accomplishments, so, yeah, we're pretty much useless, as it is right now. Okay, there's another cat in there. Let's explore the rooms, shall we? Oh, um, yeah, this is a bathroom and it's locked, as it is supposed to be. This is locked as well. Okay. Locked. Oh, oh yeah, um... Oh, this is a very nice painting of a landscape. There seem to be a lot of these around the estate. The artist signed as Vera. Oh, no new topic. Um, yeah, to this speakerphone, so... It seems like the game progress... Um, 
um, progresses around this thing, um, where the owner of the house or whoever speaks to us. I have no idea yet. So, interesting. What an odd design. Part copper, part rubber. A new topic. Alright. There we go. Oh, cool. I can sit here. <laughs> nice. Nice little gimmick. The crackle of a warm fire soothes me. Oh, no new topic. Wood. <coughs> There's nothing but flavor text here. Oh, interesting statue. Yeah, this is an awkward statue. It's a stone mouth that says, Say more house at the bottom. Oh, new topic. And I think we can unlock that with uh, by talking with Seymu. <coughs> a lot of these books are historical. The fall of the House of Gorship. I don't see what I could gain from reading such blather. So it seems we aren't aristocratic at all, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. This small section of books deals primarily with military history. And a new lock topic, okay. Interesting statue here, and we can't talk about that. Okay, let's progress with the story, shall we? There we go. I'm a little surprised seeing you talk with Mrs. Pratter like that. You mean just now? What of it? It's just... I don't know. It's like watching a fight. I didn't expect you to take part in it. Lock topic. We have a new key topic, Seymour House. We've just met Seymour. I don't know why you're already making expectations. You're right. I guess I'm still a little bit flustered. Like I said before, my mother usually handled these affairs. Looks like I have a lot to learn. <laughs> Hmm, well, teach the basics or let him handle himself. Let's teach the basics, as I think this will be the proper tutorial for um, the fights and whatnot. Ah, there we go. Common discourse can be summed up by saying that whomever gets the last word wins. Okay. To move the conversation forward in the direction you like, you need to carefully juggle three types of phrases. Will be simple. Let's start with a disruptive phase. A uh, phrase, sorry. So, there we go. Disruptive. Subtle, common, overt. Let's take it subtle. There we go. We move the conversation two points in his direction. The disruptive phrase gone a small amount of power in the conversation. To really affect the discourse, we need tact. Now that we have some power, select the submissive phase. phrase. Why phase? Phrase it is. But first we'll give the opposition their turn. Okay, we got irritated. Okay, let's take submissive. Subtle. So we always can choose from subtle, common or overt. And let's take subtle then. Oh, the power gets taken away. And we get tagged. Okay. The submissive phrase reduced power, but it gained tagged. This tagged is needed to be aggressive without losing face. Okay. That seems... doable. Okay. We'll go ahead and say an aggressive phrase and watch the conversation truly start to move. Okay. Well, we got frustrated and he gained a lot of power. Now, aggressive. Subtle or common? Let's take it common. We did that. Ah, that was the thing we took f uh, before. The more packs shown over composure, the more co uh, the conversation moves forward when using aggressive phrases. Compo composure is important. If someone has damaged composure, they become more susceptible... Sus Sus oh my god, I... Susceptible? Yeah, let's let's do it like that. Susceptible. To aggressive phrases. Or to be more clear, aggressive phrases move the conversation further if the listener has worse composure. So the more dots he has there, the more uh, we can damage him. Okay. Each phrase uses a tone. Square, um... Uh, star, or... Well, the circle. 
Damage composure by using a stronger tone. Once the speaker chooses a phrase, they also commit to a tone. The chosen tone is shown as a shape below the person who used it. Okay. Balance phrase choices based on resources, immediate effects on the conversation and tones to get the advantage. More information can be read at the save point. Okay. Okay, he... It does blood boiling. Okay. So, let's say something disrupted. Ah, here we got the shapes. I would say we take something subtle. We gain power. Wow, we are ready to burst. We gain 20 tech by using that. Okay, let's, let's gain tech and... There we go. Oh, wow. Over the edge. Let's say something aggressive. Or let's try something disruptive again. To gain some power and with that more tact. Okay. Okay, there we move again. Oh, more. He has a lot of power. Submissive. We can gain... Or oh, let's say something disruptive again. Okay, we don't move, but uh, we gain a lot of power from that. Let's try it. Aha! Uh, we get caught again. Wow, he has a lot of power. Okay, now we can say something common and gain more tact. Let's do that. Aha! Aha, we got moved again. And now something aggressive, and now we can uh, say something overt. There we go, that worked. Oh, beyond return. Ooh. Aggressive, and we can say something overt again. Okay, oh my. Okay, we, s we need power. Uh, let's gain some more power. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh, we now move. Have to move quickly. Let's say something overt. And now he's blood boiling again. Okay, he moved a bit, and I think we can win this now by sem saying something overt again. There we go, we have the last word. <laughs> you can never speak too soon. Gain experience after this course. Experience is higher when winning than losing. Well, obviously. So now we get to level 2 have 3 stored XP and the next level is with level uh, with 4 XP. Cool. Feel smarter? <laughs> I suppose. Just try to remember the phrase civilitas civility. Oh, civili civilitatum. Hey. Whatever that means. St. Lorden's motto. I never learned Latin. Hmm. It's not Latin, it's complete gibberish to the finest degree, but everything has meaning. It works as a reminder that in the civilized world, it isn't what you say that matters, but how you say it. And I won't say it again because it's complete bogus. <laughs> our nation hasn't steered us wrong yet. I'll try to keep that in mind. Perhaps I'll start picking up on someone of the finer points as I go along. Alright. And the two last persons came from outside, and so I told the young lady that she could have my head only if she put down the revolver. Pray and tell, Mr. Boasting. I'm sure that Im impoverished child you saved will never forget your deeds. Oh ho, he'd better not. Servant, when are we going to meet the professor? At, at breakneck speed, I assure you. 
Professor Chatters needs to finish setting up the equipment before the ground is display. Key topic, newest invention. And let's say you tell us what this new device of his is, eh? I've been sworn to secrecy, as I'm sure you'd expect, Judge Boasting. But your charm is noted. I encourage you all to mingle while we wait. The wine is out and corked. Enjoy it. It looks like we must wait a bit longer, Mr. McCall. Yeah. It seems to be that way, Mr. Boasting. Care to grab a drink? Ooh. I'd love to, Mr. McCall. After you. Oh, now that again. Ah. All right. This is a small party. I expected a more very uh varied crowd, didn't you? Huh. I guess I never thought about it, but maybe more people will arrive. The night's young. Key topics. Select a key topic and gossip with guests. Level up the topic or learn new ones. Shift is for key topics. Okay, we just have news invention and say more house. Anyways, I think we reached the episode time already, so I will go ahead and save the game. After we finish the tutorial. And there we go. So... Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this little episode, a rating would be much appreciated, as always. And of course, uh, still, I can't uh, take your advice in the comments, but I still would really like to get comments uh, on how you think this uh, series will go, or if you just want to say something. So, be invited to do so. And if you haven't subscribed already, do so if you want, and you won't miss an episode. So. Until next time, yours faithfully, the Pestafarian.